Hello there and welcome to today's video. I've been experimenting with some flower designs basically so I thought I'd offer them up as a tutorial today if you fancied making some too or perhaps they'd give you some inspiration for making your own. So these are based on an anemone, a Mexican sunflower and a forget-me-not so I'm going to start with the anemone. So I'm going to go for a graduated colour on my anemone. So I'm just going to pop one on top of the other and cut into a rectangle shape. Then I'll cut just at an angle like so and just place the lilacs and the whites together. And now I need to basically put this through the pasta machine and I just need to keep going like so until I get a graduation effect that I'm happy with. And if you don't have a pasta machine, you can always go for the one tone of colour on your flower. And now I'm just going to create a series of circles. And I need to make more of a petal shape, so I'm just going to cut it down a little further like so. take the top and the bottom off and to make my petal a little less chunky I'm just going to go around with my wet wipe at the sides just to flatten that down and with the blunt edge of my cutting tool I'm just going to create a series of lines here just to add a little bit more detail and once they're done I've got five of them here I'm just going to create a little wave effect just to make it look a little more reminiscent of a petal really. So now I need to start positioning those onto just a very basic circular base in white. And I'll just create an indentation with my large size ball tool here. And incidentally, I do have a list of the tools that I use down below in the description and it has been updated recently. So I've got some purple now in the centre and I'm just going to pop in some black polymer clay on the top. And now it's just a case of adding some teeny tiny little balls of black polymer clay around the centre. I'll just keep building those up. And I'm just going to add in some little purple balls as well, just because I think it needs it really. And now I'm going to move on to my Mexican sunflower. So I chose this flower because I just love the colour. So I just need to start by making a base for the back. And in the same orange, I'm just going to create a load of little petals in basically a leaf shape really. And as before, I'm just going to go around with my wet wipe just to flatten down the sides of the petals, just to make them a little flatter. And with my needle tool, I'm just going to create a little bit of detail really. And I want my petals to be slightly curved, so I'm just using the same needle tool here just to basically try and curve the petal around. So then I can just start positioning those onto the base and I need six of those on the first layer. And once they're done, I can start building up my second layer and I'm making sure the second layer petals fall between the first layer. And I'll just go in with my ball tool again, just to flatten those in the center. and I'll pop in a little ball of yellow clay and the central piece needs to be a lot bigger so I've got a seconds ball here and now I need to add in just an absolute load of little tiny balls of the yellow clay so I'll just keep going with that So just need to be mindful that they should be added to the side as well. 
And there we go, my Mexican sunflowers all done. So I'll move on to my forget-me-nots. So this is just a little extra really. I think this was the least successful of the three, but I thought I'd add it in just in case you were interested. So I need to make a series of little petals in blue clay. And this is Sculpey Souffle, so it's got a slightly different texture to the, uh, the previous flowers. And I'll start adding those onto the back. And I've got six petals here and I'm just basically trying to tuck those in like so. And it takes just a few moments to ensure that they're in the place that you want them to be really. So I'll add an indentation into the centre and I'll add in some black clay. And this is a really nice glittery clay from the Sculpey Accents range and I'll just add in some little details with some pearlescent clay and lastly I just need to add in some little yellow balls just around the centre and I'll just add in some detail with my little ball tool here so now my flowers are all done and they're ready to be baked and I baked these at slightly different temperatures because they're different clay basically. And here they are all done. And I think these will work well as little pin badges. So I'm just going to add on some araldite to some pin attachments. And the glue will need around 24 hours to dry so I'm just going to pop them onto a wet wipe like so. And here they are all done. Hope you enjoyed that. Give it a like if you got this far and I'll see you again soon.